Uh, the weather's relatively cool and showery here, but I briefly want to touch on the temperature that was recorded in Sardinia yesterday. So it was 48.2 degrees Celsius and near record. This is the second highest temperature ever recorded uh, in the European continent uh, during the, um, uh, the summer. Um, the extreme heat is not going to last for much longer. In fact, if we look at tomorrow, a dip in the jet stream here from the northwest into the Mediterranean means that that extreme heat will actually be pushed temporarily further towards the east. And look at the values here. So Palermo yesterday was actually at 47 Celsius. Tomorrow it will be 29 and also nowhere near as hot in Sardinia. So those temperatures are easing there in the central med. Now back to our neck of the woods. So this afternoon, sunny spells, scattered showers. It is relatively cool. And you know what, if you're wondering, when summer going to return, well, at the moment, it looks as though it's going to stay more or less the same into the first week of August. Hello there, good afternoon to you. Well, a much brighter day ahead compared with yesterday. We had a lot of cloud around. There'll be more sunny spells through this afternoon, but still accompanied by a few showers. And it was lovely today. Well, it was, and it should be quite nice tomorrow as well. But I've got a little quiz for you, Charlene. OK. So, average rainfall for July is usually 47 millimetres in London. How many do you reckon we've had so far? Oh, like 55. That's what I would have thought, but no, we've actually had 43. Now, we've oh. got a bit more rain coming tomorrow night, so we're on target probably to go slightly wet on average, but it's not been the complete washout it feels like. Yeah. Sunshine, above or below average? Definitely below average in July. Yeah, 60% of our normal sunshine so far with a week to go. And then temperatures above or below average? Below? Yep, you're right, about half a degree below average so far. OK. It's going to warm up a tiny bit, but not above average. Oh, but great. You know, actually, as you know, I quite like it, this temperature. Anyway, here's all the details. Let's take a look. Hello again. I hope you had a lovely day. Now, I'm not sure who's going to end up worse off here, the woodpecker or the flower pot. Good luck to both of them. Weather-wise, we've got uh, not a bad day tomorrow. It's mostly dry with some sunny spells, particularly in the morning. However, into the evening, it turns wet and there's rain overnight as well. So pretty damp as we start Thursday, but that should improve. And you'll notice it's just going to feel a little bit warmer. Now, Thursday should improve, but we can't still rule out some showers into the afternoon. Friday, however, uh, looks generally a bit dry. Maybe an isolated shower here or there. And a little bit changeable still as we head into the weekend and watch out for a bit more humidity particularly on Thursday. See you later on. Cheerio. An extraordinary map. I can't quite get over. The divide there is, is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, and we're going to start in Europe, Sophie, and I'm sure a lot of people are now familiar with this map. This is the uh, a temperature anomaly map, and so the reds are where it's much hotter than normal. And of course, we've seen that across southern parts of Europe. But things are going to change. There's going to be more of a northwesterly breeze, a huge drop in temperature, I think, by tomorrow across central parts of the Mediterranean into Italy. The heat will last a bit longer in Greece, but even here by Thursday or Friday, temperatures will be quite a few degrees lower and the winds will be a dropping as well. Interestingly, further north in Europe, where things are a bit cooler, we've had a lot of storm clouds. That's brought some flash flooding in places. And here in the UK, our weather is coming in from the Atlantic again with more cloud to bring some rain into western areas tomorrow. Had some cloud today. We've got a few sharp showers around at the moment. A lot of those will fade away overnight tonight. We'll have some clearer skies in northern Scotland. Those temperatures could be down to three degrees. And even with the clearer skies in parts of England and Wales, six Celsius here is the minimum temperature. And it felt good to see some sunshine today. It did. It was a brighter day compared with yesterday, but we had a lot of cloud around. So I think at times today it's been fairly cloudy, but at least that cloud did break to have allowed for those bright and sunny intervals. And actually tomorrow it's going to be a lovely start to the day. Lots of sunshine first thing, but it's later on through the day. I'd say more so through the evening and overnight. It is going to turn quite unsettled with some heavy outbreaks of rain. It's already been the wettest July in years, and I am bored yes. of wet i'm afraid aren't we all honestly yeah. we really could do with a bit of summer making a comeback but that's not going to be happening anytime soon let's take a quick look at the rainfall stats so far for july and we've still got a few more days to go but as you can see all four nations have seen above average rainfall take a look at northern ireland 168 percent of the average which is very wet indeed i wouldn't be surprised if there were some records broken but we won't know that for a few days yet let's take a quick look though at the jet stream and see where that is at the moment and as we know that is the dividing line between the heat that is across southern parts of europe and the cooler conditions which we are on the other side of so i'm afraid whilst it stays in this kind of position we're still going to see those atlantic lows making their way towards us so prepare for more rain particularly tomorrow temperatures are still around average for the 
the time of year. Looking further ahead into the weekend, I'm afraid it's a very showery situation, some of which will be quite heavy. So there you have it. It looks like we'll be holding on to our brollies that a bit longer. Sorry, Mary. Mm, I do not want to take my brolly out. <laughs> it is July, for goodness sake. OK, Alex, thank you.